everybody. Um, I was thinking of uh, showing you some of the cat toys we got for Darwin, our new cat. He's sitting on my lap right now, so just bear with me. <laughs> He's being a suck. I'll show him in another video. Okay, let go of the shirt. Alright. These are actually really cute. I like them because they actually kind of go with uh, the colors we're going to be using in our living room. So they're actually kind of cute. They don't look too tacky laying around. They're almost like those um, little, you know, you buy like a nice decorative bowl and then you get the decorative ornaments and balls to put in it. I'll just show them to you. Lots. These ones especially. It's like polka dot paper. Looks like tissue paper. A little feather. So far, our new cat doesn't play all too much. Um, he is almost two years old. We adopted him, so he's more of a, a cuddler. I almost wish these had little bells in them. They're just it's like twigs. I am actually more of a dog person, but I do like having a cat. I find um, I find they make your home a little more homey because they're always laying around, and sleeping, and they just always look so relaxed. So it's uh, kind of a good reminder that uh, relaxing is needed. <laughs> and that it's okay to relax. So there's one. of these.
these ones. are pretty cute. Actually, I think these are Martha Stewart. That's probably why they're so stylish for cat toy. But I do have a fun one here. Oh, don't mind my squeaky chair. It's one of these. Just on a big long stick. Oh, he sees it. So soft. The only thing about the only thing about these is that they um, they do shed a lot. You know, when you're playing, when the cat's playing with it and biting it and using their claws, it's little bits of rainbow feather all over my kitchen. frog that we got him too that you put catnip in he likes that one too and I found that he's not very um, treat um, treat uh, how can you say this <laughs> you know like oriented I guess because I was thinking of using treats to be able to train him a little bit you know find that catnip works for Darwin. So that's what we will be using. Um, I've only, this is only my second time owning a cat. And uh, my other cat, I, uh, I actually left when I moved. And uh, that's hard to do, you know, even though it's a cat, it's still part of your family, so. She was a Norwegian forest cat. She was black and white, and she had really long fur. She was beautiful. And Darwin, I will show him in a video coming up soon. He is a domestic short hair. Um, I was thinking that he was a tabby because he has orange stripes and then he's all white on his legs but apparently tabbies are actually a breed where they have almost like an M mask on their face like the markings which uh, makes sense we were gonna get a kitten just a baby, but um, the pet store we normally go to for pyro stuff, um, Darwin was actually sitting in the adoption center all by himself, 
and uh, he put on quite a show for us. He was doing almost everything and anything that he possibly could. He was scratching the scratching post and purring and yawning and meowing and stretching and just doing all that. He's really sold himself, that's for sure. So we uh, drove around town to look for, uh, you know, younger kittens for a while and uh, yeah, we ended up going back and picking him up because he was just, we were just stuck on him from that point on. So we've only had him for five days now. So, he's good. Um, I actually saw an interesting post in the uh, Autonomous uh, Sensory Meridian Response Facebook page. And the question was, do cats, um, do you think that cats experience ASMR? And I actually thought that was a pretty neat question. Because I do think they do. I really, really do. Um, you know, maybe on a different level, or maybe more. And, uh, who knows? That was a pretty funny question. I liked it. And, uh, find they're made very good. You know, obviously most cats would tear this apart anyways. But there's still a... I mean, there's a glue. Just, I don't know. If I was a cat, I would be eating the ears. Okay guys, there's a short little video for you. I just wanted to show you some of these awesome little cat toys. So, <laughs> have a good night. I'll talk to you later.